bunch of red parcels with ribbons. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I kid you not, this is my fourth try trying to record this video. I had so many problems with the focus, it is unbelievable. But despite that, I'm really excited to be finally recording this video for you guys. I wanted to do a mashup of a home gym haul and a fitness gift guide for her. I've recently done some online shopping and I decided to stock up on some basic home gym equipment. I've been really busy, I've been wanting to do more videos and I find that sometimes going to the gym can just take a chunk out of my day and just interrupt my work and I'd really like to be able to just put in a quick workout in the morning or late at night and I know that I'll be able to create some awesome workouts that I can film and in turn share with you guys as well. I also thought that home gym equipment would make a really great idea for a Christmas gift for any girl that you know that's into the gym or might want to get started. I've also added in a few other miscellaneous items that I think would make for great Christmas gifts. Okay, so since I don't want to waste any more time recording this video, I'm going to get right into the actual items. Starting off with home fitness. I have my first set of dumbbells. Put that down. So I think that a dumbbell set is a very basic necessity for an at-home gym. Mine comes with the 1 kg weights, 2 kg weights. This is my first ever pink dumbbell. Yeah. The first ones that I ever owned when I started in my dorm room, they were actually bright blue. You know what? I'm proud to own a pink dumbbell. And then last but not least, the 3 kg weights. Those work out to be around two pounds, five pounds, and eight pound weights. And yes, they are lighter, but I think it's the most appropriate set to start out with, at least for me, because I like to use the lightest ones to do warm ups. And I think that I'd be able to do most of the dumbbell exercises I'd want to do. I might just have to incorporate drop sets, circuits, or do just extra reps. And this dumbbell set I got off of Amazon for 30 pounds so it's pretty inexpensive and I got these shipped really quickly as well I think it was like overnight shipping next up and what I think is the most exciting I got a little set of resistance bands I actually saw these first on Whitney Simmons channel if you haven't heard of her before definitely check her out she does really great workout videos with voiceovers that I find are really informative, great for someone who is either getting into the gym or needs some ideas for workouts. So the set comes with five different colored resistance bands and they vary on resistance based on the thickness of the band. So there's five different resistances. So they're basically just long linear resistance bands but with rings on the end, on each end. They come with a set of handles, so two handles, two ankle straps, and they come with this part. So I'm not gonna lie, when I first saw this, I was just like, what is that? I'm definitely not gonna use this, and I almost threw it out. I'm really glad I didn't, because I figured out at the last minute that it's actually the piece that goes into the door, so it's the door anchor. So you would put this around either the top of the door or the side of the door. You would just loop the resistance band through here like so, close that in the door. It's pretty much a cable machine at home. You can do so much with these bands. You can pretty much do anything that you can do with adjustable cable machines. So I'm really excited to try these out and to show you guys how I use them and demonstrate different exercises. So that will be in the next video, which will be a glute or a lower body workout at home. So definitely subscribe, check that out. And let me just close the bag up like that and voila, it's all contained within this little sack. Again, mine are no name bands. I just searched resistance bands on Amazon and they shipped very, very quick. So perfect in time for Christmas. I got ankle weights. <laughs> so I splurged and got the five kg weights, which is around 10 pounds each. I wanted these specifically to do donkey kickbacks or quadruped kickbacks. I would recommend if you're unsure, just to start off with five pound ankle weights. I definitely could not do 10 pound kickbacks in any way when I started really training glutes a year ago, I was using only a few pounds per side. Even if you need to just use body weight, I would do that. And like I said, five pounds is a really great place to start. I don't think these are absolutely essential for a home gym, but it just gives you another option and adds to the variety of exercises that you can do at home. And they are really inexpensive. Again, Amazon ships really quickly. Next up for home gym equipment, I got mini bands. So these are circular elastic 
resistance bands. They're also called hip circles. So they're meant to go around your thighs slash your knee area and they push in on your knees so that you have to externally rotate and abduct at the hips in order to not allow your knees to cave in. So they actually activate the glutes really well. They add that extra glute focus component to exercises so they're honestly a really great tool and for how cheap they are to buy online they're definitely worth investing in either for at home or you can bring these to the gym with you. I obviously got them in colors that match my overall theme but my set comes with light, medium, heavy and extra heavy. You would vary those depending on the exercise and depending on how much resistance you require. These are great for adding onto your squats, hip thrusts. You can do any type of hip abduction exercise with them. So I'll be sure to use these in my home lower body workout that is coming soon. <laughs> and mine came in a little bag like this. Let's pop them in, keep them together. I think it makes a great stocking stuffer. Next for home gym equipment, I have this. This is an ab roller, so it's wheels with two handles on them. It gives you the option of doing some rolling ab exercises, so you can do ab rollouts and pike ups. I just thought it would be a nice way to mix up an ab routine, and I'm excited to do a at-home ab routine for you guys in the future as well. Last for home gym equipment, I have just your basic exercise yoga mat. I bet most people already have this, but I figured I would include it because I didn't have one. And if you don't, I would consider getting one because A, they're really, really cheap. Again, order off Amazon, ships really quickly, and it helps you keep your workout contained in one area. It ensures that you're not slipping around and then this is sticky so it won't slip on the floor. That's it for the at-home gym equipment section of this gift guide slash haul. I'm now gonna move on to the other miscellaneous items. I wanted to include some workout gear because I know that as a girl who's into fitness, a brand new workout outfit for the gym would be awesome to receive under the tree, especially if it is matching. <laughs> so first I picked out the Gymshark Flex Leggings. These ones are in the mint and the pale gray colorway. If you guys watched my winter gym lookbook, you would know that I am absolutely obsessed with these leggings. I raved about them for almost half that video. In a nutshell, what makes these leggings really unique is they have darker paneling around the bottom under the glutes and the quads, and they essentially accentuate all of the curves. I like to call them booty contour legging because they contour the booty. They are seamless leggings. The material is very thick. They do not go see-through and they have a little bit of a thermal effect, which I think is perfect for the colder months. These are absolutely my go-to leg day legging. And guys, if you're watching this, this isn't just a gift for your girlfriend, it's also a gift for you. I figured I would include a top as well to go with the flex leggings. This is the Gymshark Seamless Tank in mint to go with the mint on the leggings. This also comes in cropped bras, seamless t-shirt, and seamless long sleeve, like the one that I'm wearing right now. So cute. I picked this colorway because I think it's perfect for the winter going into spring period that is coming up. However, if you're worried about buying a pair of brightly colored leggings as a gift, you cannot go wrong with a pair of black basic leggings. These are the Gymshark Sculpture leggings, obviously in black. They're high-waisted, the material's really soft, really comfy. They're like spandexy style leggings that are comparable to a lot more expensive brands. They come with a pocket on each side that can fit an iPhone Plus. Sorry, my camera died, I forget where I was. Really great legging, highly recommend the end. And all of the Gymshark stuff can be purchased online, gymshark.com. If you click two day shipping, you can get it in two days. So there's still time, people just act fast. Next workout item I'm going to show you guys is a little bit more on the pricey side. So reserve it for the special someone in your life, a fresh new pair of kicks. Incidentally, I bought these as a gift from myself to myself for Christmas. I needed something to go with all of my purple gym shirt. I think that any pair of sneakers slash trainers for any of you UK people watching would do, but I picked out these Nike Air Max Theas. They come in a solid colorway. And I tried these out for leg day and they are awesome. They're really sturdy. The sole isn't as soft as some of the other shoes I have, but perfect for feeling grounded as you're doing all the squats 
etc. I got these for £110 off of ASOS.com, so a little bit on the pricey side, but definitely worth it in my opinion. And ASOS does ship really quick as well. If you're in the UK, not sure about the US, but in the US, you guys have Nike anyway, so. Another favorite of mine is the Adidas NMDs. They're really in style right now. The sole is really soft, so they're not gonna be as sturdy, but I find them great as a casual shoe slash good for upper body days and casual leg days. They're really popular and actually pretty hard to get a hold of. So if you can get your hands on a pair, I think they would make an awesome gift. Okay, so last thing on my gift guide, it's a little bit random, but dry shampoo. If you don't know what dry shampoo is, it is something that you spray on your roots to extend a wash. So this actually allows me to not wash my hair for five days. It has been an absolute life changer for me. I've only started using it in this past year. So I think I'm probably like one of the last people to finally discover it, but it has saved me so much time. And I think it's such a perfect thing for girls that work out a lot because your hair is gonna get sweaty. And we don't even have as much time as any other girl to wash our hair because we spend maybe like an hour in the gym every few days or every day. These are my two favorites. This has been the one that I've been using every month for a year now. I think it's awesome. I have not encountered a dry shampoo that works as well as this one. This is the Dry Bar Detox dry shampoo. It's the brand of the Dry Bar Salon slash blowout bars that started in LA. Positive is the really cute mint packaging, but a big downside is that this one's actually really pricey. I think I was spending around 20 to $30 a bottle and I was going through one of these a month. And although I would happily keep spending that because honestly, I do love it, I couldn't find it here in the UK. So as an alternative, I have the Batiste dry shampoo. So this one is a drugstore brand. So it's a lot cheaper than the dry bar one. It is a little bit lighter than the dry bar one. But honestly, it's not that bad because I do find that the dry bar was a little bit too intense sometimes and it could leave my hair feeling a little bit chalky and like heavy. Even if I need to use more of this, it's fine because I can just replace it more often. Random, I know, but I figured it would make a really great stocking stuffer or an add-on to one of these gifts or to whatever gift you got. If she's never tried it before, it will be life-changing. If not, then it's never a bad idea to have some extra stockpile plus you can pick this up at like any sephora or drugstore nearby you really quickly all right guys so that's everything i wanted to show you for this at home gym equipment haul slash fitness gift guide for her if you enjoyed this video slash you got any ideas and you're excited for me to show you my at home workouts then please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe i had a few comments of people saying that they did not get notified when i put out a new video so i think there's something going on with youtube so maybe just double check to see that you're subscribed as usual i appreciate any and all support so thank you i'm so excited that i made it through this recording and it's in focus <sighs> Oh, and I meant to include a pan of the Christmas tree all decorated in my last video, but I forgot to do that, so I'll insert a short little clip now. Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, thy leaves are so unchanging. It's so pretty, I'm so proud of my tree. And I meant to ask you guys what color theme your Christmas tree is in my last video, but I forgot, so please let me know down below. And if you have any ideas for any other home gym equipment that I missed, please also include down in the comments. I really want to hear you guys' feedback as well. Any future video requests, my battery's about to die. So thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Really important. Ben, I can hear you lurking. Can you hear me talking? When you shout, yeah. Oh, they look good. <laughs> They're hard to get on, holy shit. <laughs> they look sick. I'm gonna go downstairs and have a look. Okay. I'm sorry if I'm in your way. It's all right.